Hey everybody, welcome to Final Cut Pro X Tutorials.net and uh, Final Cut Pro X has finally been released by Apple and it is a huge improvement, a dramatic improvement over previous versions of Final Cut Pro. So make sure you check back to our site often because we're going to have all kinds of different training videos and tips on how to use Final Cut Pro X. It's a very advanced program but we will make it as easy as possible so you'll be able to learn and be able to do video editing like a pro without spending the time that a pro usually spends to learn the software so a couple notes on this uh, I've loaded up Final Cut Pro X here to kind of show you what it looks like and uh, in the past Final Cut Pro uh, has actually sold the Final Cut Pro Studio sold for thousand dollars and now Apple is selling Final Cut Pro X for 300 bucks and then there's a couple other um, programs that can go with it uh, motion and compressor which are 50 bucks each as well so because it's so affordable now uh, there used to actually be another version of Final Cut Pro and that was called Final Cut Pro Express and that was uh, I think $200 but now that Final Cut Pro is only 300 bucks uh, Apple's gotten rid of Final Cut Pro Express so basically bottom line if you want to do editing on your Mac Final Cut Pro X is absolutely definitely the way to go in fact a lot of uh, video editors would buy a Mac just to be able to use Final Cut Pro so Let's just take a quick look at Final Cut Pro, just the screen layouts, and then later on we'll have videos of using Final Cut Pro X and, and then start teaching you how to use it as well. But when you open up Final Cut Pro X, we have the event library here on the left side. And then in this area here, you can import files or also import directly from your camera. And then now we have our window here, so when you're playing a video or, or um, editing a video it's going to show up in this area here and then down here we have an area to create a new project we have our project library over here and then along the middle bar we have a bunch of different tools and options so that's basically how Final Cut Pro X is laid out initially you can also change the views uh, but I'm going to work with it um, using the standard default views and see how that goes uh, to create a new project you simply just click on this button and you can give it a name and an event and then for video properties you can set it up automatically based on your video clip or custom and same thing for audio and render properties so I uh, just wanted to show you a quick layout and, and view of Final Cut Pro X like I said check back to our site because uh, later on today and moving forward we'll have a lot more Final Cut Pro X tutorial videos tips and tricks on how to use it and we're gonna make it as easy as possible for you to use Final Cut Pro X for all your video editing 